Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny and today I have got a vintage charity shop haul to share with you. Um, I didn't manage to get much in the charity shops. There really, really wasn't a lot there. We went to several different ones, including some in the village, a couple of the village surrounding where we live and to the next town. And there really wasn't a lot in them. Um, but I got a couple of bits that I was really quite pleased with. So if I start off with the charity bits and uh, then we'll move on to what I've ordered off of Vinted. Okay, um, first off, I got these two vases. Um, I've been looking for some because I'm, as I said in my last Vinted charity shop haul, I'm doing up my room and the hallway and these were 50p each and I was chuffed to bits with those. Um, I've got some... Um, Oh, what they could the light up twigs that you can put in them. Um, I thought that would look really nice on one of the sh on the shelves in my room. Oh, so that's them. Yeah, brilliant. They were from St Michael's Hospice. And then I got right. You have to excuse me. It's it's heavy, which is why I'm struggling it. Right. <laughs> I got this. It's a great big photo frame. I have a pastel painting or picture of uh, my old doggy. She unfortunately she she passed away, but um, she's in a gold frame at the moment, and my room is now purple, and I'm using black frames. So I wanted a black one, and I found this in the charity shop. It was five pounds, but I haven't managed to find one this big. In a shop or anywhere else with a black frame um, I keep coming away empty-handed wherever I go so I picked this up as soon as I saw it um, yeah well impressed well impressed that was St Michael's Hospice as well uh, careful just put that out the way and um, yeah and then in another one my daughter she got some books she's setting up a corner of her room to be her reading nook and she's got a nice new bookshelf and um, she was after some books and these were all on her reading list and she got was it four for five pounds I got five but one of them's upstairs because I've already started reading it it's the first oh. book of that series oh she got the first book of this series and she's already nicked it and started reading it <laughs> but what can you do Lucy's behind the camera as usual Hello. She can't, I can't do all this, so she's doing it. Then she got... I'm the tech person. Percy, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I've, I've heard of it. I haven't read this one. This one is Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson and As Good As Dead also by Holly Jackson. It's part of the a Good, Gu Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. So, and she's got the first one, but I don't know what that's called. I think it's just called A Good Guy's Guide. A good. good Girl's Guide to Murder. Yeah, yeah, that. Um, and she's she's also into, like, history and historical things. And she's got the book The Other Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory. She likes all these things. Um, and she gets a lot of enjoyment out of reading them. So, yeah, she's she got that. So, unfortunately, that was all we managed to get at our little charity shop excursion. There really wasn't a lot around. Um, but then I did go on Vinted and I got quite a few bits on Vinted um, some of it some people it, it's makeup some people don't like buying secondhand makeup I personally don't have a problem with it providing it's certain things so eyeshadow palettes I don't mind um, providing they are new and unused and um, so, and if they are sealed so yeah um, so I got I got a few bits from Beauty Bay it's their own stuff but I've I sort of started collecting their palettes and everything so I got the the Beauty Bay palette pastels palette and as you can see it's brand new it's even got the sticker on the mirror it come in its little box but I've taken them out just for ease of the showing you so yeah I got that one and I got the Utopia one and as you can see, this is all brand new. It's still got the stickers on the fit on the mirror, and this is still stuck down. So yeah, that's that was all came all in its original packaging. 
and then I got the the Disney ones so I got um, the Alice in Wonderland with the Cheshire Cat on it I got the Jungle Book one I got Bambi and I got Dumbo so I've just got I've just got the Mad Hatter one to get now but these they all came in their original boxes and they're all still see this is all sealed still um, the mirrors are all sealed still so yeah they've never been used um, if they've been opened it's just just you know to check them but as you can see they're pristine condition so yeah um, I was very very happy with those um, yeah enjoy those um, and then I got the eyeshadow pencils these are the the Disney color collection the eyeshadow pencils I've got a purple a blue and a pink uh, this is the purple one it was sealed I have opened them and swatched them myself before but as you can see they're quite quite creamy and they they blend out really well they're really nice really nice I'll enjoy using them and I got a Rimmel concealer as you can see it's not only is it still sealed it's still got the security tag that the shop put in there so yeah it's never been opened completely sealed um, and that one um, was a bargain that was a quid so I was well chuffed with that these palettes I got these three all came together and they were three pound fifty for all three um, this one was three pounds this one was four pounds and the Bambi one was £2.50 so yeah I was really chuffed with those really chuffed and then the last one I got I have opened this one this is the Sunset Horizons palette now you can't get this on Beauty Bay anymore which is why I had to go to Vinted but again it's sealed I took the sticker off earlier but yeah it's all sealed it's never been touched you can see there are no finger marks in it or anything absolutely pristine condition um, so yeah really really impressed with that and the last thing I got was this L'Oreal Paris fine flowers gel cream face wash I've been after trying it it's rose and jasmine I love the smell of rose absolutely love the smell of rose I know a lot of people don't like it but I love it, it smells like old ladies nice old ladies so <laughs> I really really like that smell and um, so I got this this was this was a pound on vintage it's never been opened it's still got its seal round the top I can't even open it at the moment but yeah yeah be glad to try that see what it's like I've seen the range in Tesco's and places like that and I really wanted to try that one I oh, sorry if the angle changed battery died so, right new one in let's go um as i was saying i forgot about the shoes that i got for my daughter now these are brand new as you can see they've maybe maybe been tried on um but yeah they're lovely they are really lovely um they fit her nice um size nine which is not easy to come by in the shops so when you find these i mean they are they are in immaculate condition look you know they've been well my daughter's tried them on um, and they were maybe tried on by the other person, but they are look just perfect, absolutely perfect. So I got those, and then and they were they were five pounds, just five pounds. They even came with the original box, and you can see they were from Dykeman. So yeah, and then I got her another pair. These aren't as in it uh, is a, as good condition, but they're still. You know they're not bad they're not bad they've been worn a few times and these are from new look but they'll do for you know going out and about shopping and things like that and this one you know they've got a few marks on them but these were just three pound so yeah oh excuse me yeah they're not too bad at all not too bad at all and she's already tried these on and she says they are very very comfy so yeah yeah very impressed with those very impressed yeah so they were they were my little little bargain hunts my little bargain hauls um yeah um 
if you like this video i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me if you would join me on my youtube journey um yeah and i'll see you in the next one bye